Invisible string theory is real. I just did a story time on how me and my fiance met. Ryan and I grew up about 10 minutes away from each other. He was a little bit older and went to a different school though. We did have some mutual friends that put us in the same room at times. We didn't know this, but we found some photos on opposite ends. And one friend even sent me a video where we're taking a shot at the bar and he walks past us. The craziest thing is that I have actually slept in his house. My cousin was friends with him at the time, and when I would come home from LA or Austin to visit, we'd go out and party, and then we lived like 35 minutes from the city, so he'd be like, oh, my friend has a place we can crash here. Not only did I sleep there, but I had been there for a few pregames before. I don't think any of which Brian was actually there, and I say this because I went in his bedroom. He lived in this really nice apartment, and his room in particular had a really nice balcony. And of course, me and my friends went out there and had a whole photo shoot. And I asked, I was like, who has this nice room? They were like, oh, he's away. He's not here right now. It's like, oh, so... If I end up having a crash here, like, instead of the couch, maybe I can sleep in his bed, he won't even know. I didn't, but I should have, knowing that we're gonna get married soon, like. Yeah, I just think it's a little bit wild, but I'm glad I met him when I did. Timing is everything. Everything happens for a reason.